When God wants to bless you financially or materially, God does not send money from heaven. But what he does is that God puts a divine impression of your name in the heart of kings and those who are in the place of influence. Those who can open doors and gates to mighty opportunities for you. The favor of God is the compelling power of God that releases men to abundance and prosperity. It is one of the foremost signs that God will blow your mind with abundance and prosperity. The favor of God makes you a master of relationships, and it gives you the wisdom to bring profit from every relationship you're in. There are many things that only God can do for you. When God wants to release mighty wealth and prosperity, he begins to make you likable before men. Talking about Jesus, the Bible says that he increased in favor of God and men. We need the favor to open doors and opportunities for us. When you begin to find out that your boss begins to favor you, not because you're the best in your company, but because there's just an influence of the Spirit upon you that God himself has ordained for your future in that place that seems to always lift you and promote you. Favor doesn't mean they have to like you. Like the children of Israel during the day of the Passover, the word of God shows us that even though those who hate you and are seeking your downfall can be used by God to promote and release you into abundance and prosperity. Years ago, I once heard a story of a soldier that was hated by his boss in the military. This boss of his hated him for no reason, right from his training periods and now, he needed the approval of this man to get a grant to travel overseas for one of his courses. He was in a state of confusion, not knowing what to do. But he prayed to God and went to the office of his boss with courage. His boss was working on one of his assignments on his desk when he looked up. He saw this soldier he hated and said, what are you here for? He told him, I'm here to sign my document for the grant. The boss just signed and shouted at him to go out. That was how this young soldier took his grant to travel abroad with no stress and with ease. He went overseas, finished his course, and came back a multimillionaire. That was controlling the military basement in different continents. That cannot be done by the arm of flesh. That is the favor of God. God released him to abundance and prosperity by putting in the heart of his boss to favor him even though he didn't like him. God still controls the uncontrollable, and that's why we pray. Even when we have stubborn people who do not want us to make progress in life and destiny, the favor of God will position you to meet the right people at the right time. Life is not fair. The people that are living in abundance in many countries are not the best skilled and are not even the most intelligent. It was just that they came in contact with time and chance being at the right time and the right place and suddenly stepping into the channel where finances are living and flowing. That is why favor is called currency. It's always flowing. It's this favor that releases us to abundance and prosperity. When the favor of God has located you, It'll blow your mind. And the kind of prosperity and mighty supply you'll see will be that of men dropping on each other to help you, even when you don't want their help. This is what the favor of God does for a man. It makes his enemies even help him and bless him. It's what initiates wealth transfer where the wealth of the sinners is transferred to the righteous. It can only be by the favor of God that beautifies many lives. It was what brought the Israelites into wealth and also brought Jacob into wealth that made him exceedingly great before men. Sacrifice is one of the signs that God wants to blow your mind with abundance and prosperity. When we talk about sacrifices, we're talking about the pains that go along with serving and giving to God and his agenda. When God wants to bless people and break them into unprecedented prosperity and abundance, he puts the impression in their hearts to offer up sacrifices. Where there is demand for sacrifice, there is release of abundance and prosperity. God says, quote, whatever a man sows, he will reap, end quote. And they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. It's a sacrifice that turns away our captivity and releases the miraculous hand of God in our lives. 
Sacrifice is a sign of the blessing of God upon your life. There is a story of Abraham, which is the model of faith to us, how God tested Abraham by telling him to sacrifice his only son. We see what happened to Abraham when he obeyed the voice of God. God laid on him a mantle of blessing that he will be great and that all nations shall be blessed through him. Whenever God speaks to us to make a sacrifice, it's a great sign that he'll soon blow our minds to abundance and prosperity. Thanksgiving is not just a cliche and something we use to mark our religious schedule. When God wants to blow your mind with abundance and prosperity, God begins to put in your heart and your picture many reasons to be grateful. The Word of God says, Out of you shall proceed the voice of thanksgiving and the song that'll make you merry. And God says, I will multiply you and you shall not be small. And I will also glorify you and you will not be few. There are untold blessings in giving thanks to God. Thanksgiving puts us a crown of glory that God loves when he sees us and makes him multiply us in all aspects of life. So when you're in the mood for Thanksgiving, despite the circumstances you're going through, it shows that God can blow your mind with prosperity and abundance because God delights and multiplied the resources of the thankful heart. One of the operations of God is that he's always searching and looking for the one that he will bless and prosper. And the key thing you'll find in the lives of the blessed men in the Bible is the attitude of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving activates the harvest of God in your life. We found out as a matter of principle that when anyone walks in on thanksgiving, they reap miracles, both the miracles they desire and the ones they don't desire. When you see possibilities, knowing that everything is always going to work out fine for you, it's another sign that God will blow your mind with prosperity and abundance. When people tell you that there's a recession in your society, but like Joseph, you always see the possibilities of things working, it's a sign that there is a future manifestation of prosperity and abundance in your life. Because that shows that you've caught the light of prosperity. Positive confession is not just a myth. It's a sign of abundance and prosperity. When a person speaks only of possibilities and not impossibilities, it's popularly said that a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Anything that's too big for you to say is too big for you to experience. During the famine in Samaria, where women were even eating their child, God's prophet said that a barrel of oil shall be sold for a shekel. That is the aura of possibility, and we see how God brought the city into prosperity and abundance. Another sign that God will blow your mind with abundance and prosperity is that there is joy and happiness, not only in you, but around you. You begin to have more and more people celebrating you. Many do not always realize this, but joy and happiness are indeed a sign of prosperity and abundance. When people are faced with challenges and they begin to rejoice instead of worrying and rejecting, it's a sign that God is about to bless them. When there is joy, laughter, and rejoicing, it's a sign that there's an explosion of abundance and prosperity. That is why God instructed the children of Israel to enter into the promised land, which was a picture of abundance with joy, laughter, rejoicing, and songs with trumpets.